All right, we have our frame is finished, and now what we're going to need to do is put um, some metal over it to make it actually look like it's made out of tin. So we're going to start by taking a glue bottle, and you're going to do ladybug dots all the way around the frame. Covering it pretty well. And you're going to take your foil and you're going to smooth it out with your hands. And you'll start to kind of see the um, inside of that frame on there. Really press over with your fingers all those areas so it's down nice and flat. Get those bubbles worked out. And if you want to take a pencil at this point and draw into it, you can do that as well. And that can have a nice little effect, get some fine lines. All right, now I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to fold this around. Fold the top and then the bottom. And then I'm going to go around like this. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to poke and cut a little rectangle out of the middle. But you want to leave a little bit coming up off the frame. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you want to go from the corner of that rectangle here. And fold that around. All right, and then to give it a look that like it's old and it's a little bit rusted and has some age to it, and also to bring out some of these textures, you're gonna take a paintbrush and just add a little bit of brown paint onto that surface. You wanna work quickly because then we're gonna take a paper towel and polish it up. You can see I didn't use all of my paint there. So take this and just kind of make circular motions and it's going to really rub that in. And then we'll get the brown into those little cracks and crevices. going to give it something called a patina. All right, and then you're finished and you take it to the drying rack. Um, also, this can be reused, so this will be put in a box up on the carpet.